Of course, it is difficult, but if you have a training, you will be able to do it. Without a training, you will not be able to do it. You need to gradually build up your skills. Physical challenges, mental, psychological challenges, they train you in different ways. You know that when you go on assignment, you need to sleep a couple of hours. And you don't have a choice. If you want to sleep, you, you need to complete the assignment. Because on this depends your life and life of your comrade. I always wanted uh, whom I want to become, what I want to do since childhood, and gradually I was moving towards it. But uh, the combat activities in Ukraine quickened, fastened this uh, process, and so I joined Armed Forces of Ukraine. I immediately realized uh, what activity I wanted to do. It's a, it is in my nature, in my character. And so I was enrolled in the, the Iraqi battalion, and my position is a Iraqi sniper. I have two rifles. Z10 and uh, Savage 110. Z10 is a Ukrainian rifle. It is quite good in work. With Z10, you can work on a range of up to 1,200 meters. It has a caliber of uh, 308. It says 7.62 slash 51. This caliber used to be with SVD sniper rifle, but it was taken off the service. Savage 110, it is a more stronger rifle. It has a caliber, larger caliber, 8.6 and a longer range. You can work up to one and a half, uh, two kilometers with that rifle. When working for a smaller range, up to 500-600 meters, there is no need to take Savage 110 because it is heavier and have, has a larger mass, so uh, we can achieve the task with Z10 on that range. We always work in a pair so that uh, in order to have confidence in your partner, we need to feel your partner, to know, to know them 100%. It's not your colleague, it's your friend, uh, your mate, uh, who uh, at some uh, higher level understands uh, you, you understand each other without words or uh, conversation. You will understand what he needs uh, and he will understand what you need and he will do what you need always will support and uh, most importantly uh, the work is a uh, split for two people uh, one for instance uh, may uh, lie behind and observe and giving you direction the ranges and giving adjustments so that you don't peek out of your position and you just uh, pull the trigger based on the adjustments of uh, your partner My first rotation was in 2020 year, immediately in my uh, Iraqi battalion. I had uh, several jobs, uh, cover-ups of groups and uh, working in a sniper group, observation and all a range of uh, the Iraqi battalion. If you look at the DNR LNR troops, they don't have well-trained specialists. 
the world kind specialists, uh, they come from the Russian Federation, and there they have very good professionals, and they work very tough, and very tough, and very often they kill our soldiers. But we are a good match to them. We can put up a good fight against them. They are always active, especially during ceasefire, when our mortar shells subsided, their snipers uh, became more active because our soldiers uh, less expose themselves and so they need to sneak on them. If you look at so-called rebels, they have very poor weaponry. But if you look at the professionals of high level, they operate with um, rifles of world producers with very good characteristics. Uh, they probably even test uh, those rifles on our territories. In our conditions of war, we have a trench war, so this job is uh, very popular. You set up a, a position, uh, you can uh, spend uh, some time on that position, then withdraw back to the RV and then come back to the position if it has not been compromised. Uh, this position can be for one hour, for two hours or for several days, everything depends on the task. Uh, during summertime, we had an assignment that lasted for one week, so we pushed out on the OP in the morning and returned in the evening, uh, slept for several hours, then at night again pushed out uh, at the OP and in the morning returned to the RV, and so we worked and cycled like this uh, for eight or uh, ten hours a shift, but we swapped with the partner. Because uh, if you continuously absorb, and then the eye, your eye gets tired, and um, you can miss uh, some information. You can uh, miss uh, some something new if you continuously look without uh, rest. That's why you need a partner. Uh, we were when we were at position we spent uh, six or eight hours on the position we didn't move didn't leave just observed didn't move it was uh, for seven eight hours the whole night everything goes numb you try to move slightly your toes on your foot on your feet to run a circulation, blood circulation. Of course, you go to toilet, but before the assignment, you know that you will have to lie for several hours, so you try not to drink water, etc. You know that uh, you, before the assignment, you have to sleep a couple of hours, and you don't have a choice. If you want to sleep, you need to complete the assignment to the end, because your life and the lives of your comrades depend on this. Of course, it is difficult, but if you have a training, you will be able to do it. Without a training, you will not be able to do it. You need to build up gradually your skills. Before the rotation, I had one uh, thoughts about the war, and after rotation, it changed completely. Before the rotation, I was uh, flying somewhere in the clouds, and the rotation grounded me and showed uh, what approaches are effective and uh, what are not. I feel that this is uh, mine. Thing. It is for me, especially after I have been through the training and they teach us a lot. We have a very strong school, our sniper school. They give us everything. They give the basics and you need to build up on that basics, improve your skills. My first course 
uh, was in winter. It was uh, the first uh, sniper course. Uh, Usually the courses take place in summer, spring, autumn, and uh, this was uh, the most difficult uh, winter course. At first you go through the two-week selection course. They test uh, your physical skills, uh, psychological, mental, mental uh, your state. They check you on different levels. You undergo psychological examination, medical examination, but the physical are the toughest. I was the only girl on that course, uh, but I was the top student. And even men couldn't complete the course and gave up. But for me, it was a motivation I wanted to come to the end of the course. Even though sometimes I lacked the strength, but if you know what you want, you go for it. I have a very big desire. I want to free all our territories. I don't want for them to go further, to push further onto our territories and to harass us and to kill our people and to force their thought on us. Warrior, it's me.